tax reform is different. The entire tax cut bill, the entire tax reform bill can go into one bill through the House and the Senate. So procedurally, it makes it much easier. Here's the other point I'd say. If we keep taxing our job creators, our businesses, at much, much higher tax rates than our foreign competitors tax theirs, we're going to lose. We're going to lose in global competition. I was just meeting with a father-son business. In, I was doing office hours in Janesville today. I met with a father-son business in, down in south-central Wisconsin. I don't want to tell their names because I don't want to you know, get, them, get them grief. But down in Genoa City, they have an electric, electricity business. They make electrical parts for Snap-on and for other, other companies. Their biggest competitor is Canada, a com company in Canada. Their tax rate, they're a corporation, small business, 35%. You know what the Canadian tax rate is? 15%. Eight out of 10 businesses in America file their taxes as people, as individuals. We call them like subchapter S corporations, LLCs. Their top effective tax rate is 44.6%. Canadians are at 15%. The Irish at 12.5%. China, 25%. The average tax rate on businesses in the industrialized world is 22.5%. And we are taxing American businesses 35 to almost 45%. That is a recipe for disaster. At, at, at worst, if they are successful enough to make money by selling a product overseas, they can't bring their money back because of our tax laws. And so what's happening is we're losing American businesses. The biggest business we had in Wisconsin, publicly traded, was Johnson Controls. Um, it, the, the, the thermostat here is probably a Johnson Controls thermostat. They are now an Irish company. Their worldwide tax rate is 12.5%. They're not an American company anymore. We're losing businesses left and right, and this is among the reasons why we have to have fundamental tax reform.